Yo, what's going on, Gunners? It's your boy, Nigeria 7 and the Arsenal and the Welcome back to your boy's channel. We have top exciting stories to share with you today as we get right into today's video. Yeah, we start off today's video, of course, with something I would delight to, of course. Don't forget we reported in one of our previous videos about Ben White signing a new contract at Arsenal, which, of course, we said is fully deserved. And, of course, his growth, his evolution at the right back, all this is really improving every day, giving out his best, one of the most consistent and best outstanding player in the Premier League at his position, of course. So, it's a good news that we have this fantastic player staying at the club for even further more years to come. So, Ben White evolution and growth at Arsenal. Now, today we have been told the report has come out that working with Ben White has been really great. Don't forget, an interview came out whereby he mentioned the fact that anytime he's off the pitch and at home, he switches off and football is not something he enjoys watching. But now, with internal reports from sources at Arsenal are saying that this player gives his 100% in the training ground, focuses on details, ready and um, eager to learn and adapt, and that it is very, very evident in the fact that, of course, he predominantly play as a right back for Arsenal recently, and what was his position at Brighton was centre back. So the move and the adaptation into the right back position and the the the, the, the quick response of Ben White to this position, the way he was able to adapt quickly to it is really, really astounding and worth nothing. So let's just say that Ben White is an astute professional, is a exemplary and model professional. So regardless of what you learn about Ben White, this guy is really, really tough and we are happy to have him at Arsenal for even more years to come. Alright, moving on, let's talk about one man, our German star in Kai Havertz. He has already been proven, of course, we told you in one of our last videos that Arsenal fans are beginning to fall in love with this man, of course, despite the fact of his shaky start at Arsenal. We were calling for our manager Mikatita to drop him and play probably Smith Rowe or other players that are available instead of trying to force this man on us, according to some Arsenal fans. But now, a lot of people are not dancing to his tune as he has really improved and of course it's evident because let's look at the stats on your screen now between him and um, Dominic Supersly of Liverpool who of course many Liverpool fans were grateful at the beginning of the season but now look at your stats and tell me who, who you would rather have at your club honestly Kai Avat is not the conventional number 10 player who likes to move around and roam but it does a lot of work in that same position that of course lays passes, give opposition a tough time and also give some room and space for his wingers to run in this are some technical but very very difficult roles to play for your team and only few players in the world football at the moment have that advantage Kai Avat definitely his height is a top advantage in that aspect able to hold up play, able to disrupt or disrupt the thinking of the defenders, opposition defenders and of course, this of course is one of the reasons why Mikata has kept him, especially in our big games, if you notice, Akata have opted most likely to put in Kai Avat in that position to ensure that the defenders have a lot to think about. So, we are grateful to Mikata for signing this player and of course, we hope this string of brilliant performances continue for our football club. Alright, finally let me talk about one player who has come out to react to our Champions League draw in Thomas Muller telling us, well, we are a top team but it will be a nice game but I will tell you, Mr. Thomas Muller, this is not the Arsenal that you guys trashed tend to the previous years. This is a new rejuvenated football side. So it will be a top game, no doubt. So my reaction to this is that, well, it will be a tough game, it will be a top game, it will be a brilliant game, it will be a beautiful game, two top sides, but at the same time, Bayern Munich must note, if they care to, that Arsenal are not the same side, they do play them. They could use that as a motivation for them, we don't care, but at the same time, Arsenal won't just let them go that way. And of course, they will also be a difficult opponent to play against, even though they are having a shaky time at their league but at the same time we are coming with confidence from our league and also the way we qualified against Porto so we hope Arsenal are able to go on from this stage and pass quarter final and probably we see ourselves in the final but let's just take it a step at a time all right guys
right guys it's a wrap for today and i would love to see you in our next video and you might want to follow your boy on socials our uh, instagram nelly junior 7 and you can also subscribe to our channel so that you don't get to miss any latest arsenal news and top stories that are so exciting here so please share also to your friends and follow arsenal fans so that nobody gets to miss this big top stories we share here on arsenal roundup and don't forget to turn on post notification so that you also don't get to miss our top stories on this channel all right guys i will see you in our next video Until then your boy is out